All right, everyone. So the second mineral on your native elements list is going to be copper, which is another one just like gold. That I expect you guys to already know a little bit about and have seen somewhere in your lives at some point in time. Um, one of the first things that you'll notice about copper is that just like gold, it does also have a metallic luster. However, um, copper readily tarnishes, which is why you see some of these kind of green splotches, why it's a dusty brown color. But if you scratch it, because copper is innately very soft, you'll see a lot of this normal copper color um, that you could think of, of like a pan or a pot or something like that. Um, and this is a common crystal form that copper comes in where it's really just, or a crystal habit, where it's really just almost like a wafer thin sheet and it's extremely pliable. So I could bend this piece here just with my fingers. It's very malleable. And this is one of those common things about copper when you find it. Also, let's do a little scratch test here and see if we can get a little bit more of this metallic luster to come through, scrape off a little bit of this tarnish and get some pretty copper luster here. So what we've done there is kind of scraped away that top layer that's been oxidizing, reducing, reacting with oxygen, and you see that pretty metallic luster. And so it's very soft, it has a metallic luster, and as far as crystal habit, copper likes to form in a bunch of different environments. And I've got three different things here. We've got this kind of platy piece that's very thin, a thin sheet of copper. We have this, which is almost like this dendritic tree growth of copper crystals. Now you're not likely to see crystals of gold, however you are, it is more common to see crystals of um, copper. They'll never be really beautiful crystals. There are some examples in museums of really beautiful ones, but this piece that I have right here is more common and still a beautiful specimen. And so it has these kind of individual crystal forms that are making up this tree form here. Um, and we'll call this a crystal habit. We've also got this kind of uh, weathering that's been going on with also some hematite in here and this is a really common thing that you'll see with accessory minerals so associated minerals that are going to be occurring around the same place and so there's copper built into this I can feel it in my hand it's it's dense um, more dense than I would expect hematite to be but then we've got maybe some layers here there's that green the dusty red that we're used to seeing for copper um, and this is all a factor of weathering as well. And if we streak it, let's see if we can get a good streak here on our streak plate. Because this is so soft, what am I expecting to see with the streak is really just the same color that we saw. Let's see here, yep, looks like copper. And so that can help you out, especially if something's really weathered. But in general, if you're streaking these things and they're gonna be soft, they'll easily powder. And in this case, because it's a native metal, it's going to be the same color as the crystal that you are holding in your hand. And it is also um, isometric. So if we were to see this in beautiful crystals, it would actually come out to be one of those high symmetry forms as well.